today on Board Games and Bourbons. Old Forrester, Fighting Cop, and Ticket to Ride. Uh, Paka, why don't you tell us a little bit about our selections and why it works? Um, about the bourbons? Uh, I picked Fighting Cock, and actually today, I'm not going to drink it straight or neat. I'm, uh, make, I made an Old Fashioned, and Old Fashions generally are bourbons um, with sugar, a splash of bitters, and a muddled orange, and um, to be fancy, I put a slice of orange in there, even though it's just for decoration, I'm not going to. Uh, it doesn't affect the drink at all. And um, I'm not using regular bourbon or regular bitters. I'm using orange bitters. Um, I pick Fighting Cock because it's very spicy. I feel like it has a lot of rye in it. And uh, I feel like Ticket to Ride is about the Industrial Revolution, about the railroad barons trying to just, uh, you know, pave a, a way across the, the United States uh, to realize uh, the manifest destiny, and uh, so Fighting Cock is gritty, like the the yeah, founders of America, <laughs> yeah, the Vanderbilts, the Carnegies, um, and that's why I picked it. It's more of a personality um, than actually the taste of the bourbon. Well, let me tell you a little bit about Ticket to Ride, and then I'll tell you about what drink I think goes along with it very well. In Ticket to Ride, what you're trying to do is you basically trying to make the longest train you can and try to find routes. You have secret objectives that you're trying to do, which is, uh, you know, you might have to go from Toronto to Vancouver or something like that. And when you do that, you get points. Uh, you get points for every train you make, you get points for the longest train, and the person with the most points at the end wins. Uh, sometimes you want to be sneaky about what you're doing. Sometimes it's quite obvious where you're headed. Other times, you might just put down a train track to mess somebody else up. You never see it coming. That's where Old Forester comes in. Old Forester is a drink, now specifically this one right here, this is the 100. Old Forester 100, Neon that's got a tooth on it, kind of sneaks up on you, you know, kind of like, uh, like you're in middle school drinking Mad Dog 2020, something like that. Uh, now, the drinks we're making, they're old school. I like that. For me, I went with this because it kind of evokes that. Let's play it a little bit and see if it actually works. Alright, Paka, how do we actually go about playing this game? Alright, to start off, um, there are two types of cards. There is a ticket card which gives you routes that you uh, can complete, and there's a little number on these cards. Uh, for instance, this one says, I have to build a railroad uh, from Salt St. Marie to Oklahoma City, and if I complete that route, uh, I get nine points. To put down routes, there are train cards. The train cards come in various colors. Um, if I pick a route, and for instance, this route from Chicago to Pittsburgh is orange, I have to have either three orange cards, three orange train cards, or I can get one of these things called locomotive card, which is a wild card. Um, uh, so any combination of that, and then that will allow me to build routes. Now, what happens is when you start the game, you're going to get four train cards, and then you're going to get destination cards, and those destination cards are the specific cities you have to get between. And every time you play, you pick up two more cards uh, to see if you can make a, uh, a train car of like all yellows or all reds, the different colors in the stack. And once you do that, you then have to go ahead and pick up a destination card. So by the end, you've really gone through the whole pack, doing everything. There's a little bit of strategy, because you, you're trying to get uh, train tracks that are in your neck of the woods. Uh, you really don't want anything over here. You might even want to go with a uh, train track that's low, so at the end of the game, you're not penalized. How would you be penalized? You're penalized because if you don't complete your tracks, the point value of those tracks are subtracted from your score. It's quite involved and very interesting. Let's have some bourbon that'll make it a little bit better. <laughs> Should we play a round just to demonstrate? All right, well, to do that, um, as you can see, we're partially through the game. So, uh, Paka, uh, why don't you go ahead and pick a route and let's see what we can do. Okay, so um, let's see, I have a card here. I'm going to reveal what I have uh, in the interest of just being uh, fully transparent. I have a route from um, Montreal to New Orleans, which means, and um, Montreal is here, 
and New Orleans is. Where's that? It's in Canada. Yeah. Oh, here. New Orleans, the United States. Okay. Yeah, that one. So she, she's almost there. She just has to complete a little bit more yellow. Yeah. So I need actually. Um, there's a, a four train yellow right. route. So to get from here to here, you have to complete it by using trains of that color. You can either use four oranges or four yellows. If you don't have those, you can't do it. Or if you have four uh, engines, which can be any color, you can use those. So I do have three yellows. At the beginning of my route, or my turn, I get to pick two cards. I see there's a yellow right here, so I'm going to pick this up. This gives me four yellows. I'm going to replenish the pack. Or the, the cards down here, and uh, remember, I can pick up two cards. I'm gonna pick up just this random white one right here and uh, replenish. Uh, so, I'm gonna lay down four cards. Sorry, from um, what is this Atlanta to New Orleans? Mm -hmm. Yellow, put this in the discard pile, and I'm uh, actually my piles over here. And so, four, and that completes my card from Montreal to New Orleans, so I get 13 points. I'm gonna go up by 13. Yeah, 13 for that. But you also get extra points for having four cards down. Yeah, so four cards down will give me seven points because I laid down four cards. Uh, I get seven more points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a little guy right on the board. Did you know that? I just noticed. Yeah, I did. Okay, can you put that in this spot? Yeah, sure. So that's how you play around. And um, like you said, the interesting thing is you can kind of um, hijack people's routes. If I want to go somewhere, uh, he can put something down even though he doesn't need that route, just so I can't take that route. The game alone, uh, even just for two people, takes around an hour. And I can see it really getting complicated with more players. I think it takes up to six. I'd say an hour and a half to play. Certainly enough time to get sloshed. Um, I say pick a train that matches the color of your beverage. That's a, way, a good way to go. If you're blue, get some uh, curacao. Maybe that's the thing to do. Um, melon liqueur if you're green. Uh, you know, important things like that. So match the, are you saying match the color of the beverage to the color that you picked? <laughs> yeah, ma match it to the color of the blood that will be coming up later. After it, it, this will no longer be Borgans and Bourbon. It will be called Borgans and Absence. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Well, anything else you want to mention in this review? I think this game is really fun, and um, it takes, you know, an hour or more to play, so that's plenty of time to break friendships and regain them. <laughs> yeah, it's a great party game. Uh, I would break it out. It's nice and lighthearted, but there's enough strategy to make it worthwhile. It's, it, it's really good. There's some games that I think might be stressful or too short, but this one, I think it's just perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for watching.